ЭПВР Тайфун Хэсгичайна и Хэсгин Сириус Прохрон Сенсив Роу Провансес. The Typhoon was accompanied by power storm and wind was at least 60 miles per hour. The disaster has significant damage, especially in forest areas, with numerous cities suffering from severe flooding and bad weather events. The class in at least three and four houses, disorders on beaches, and forced residents of the affected areas to avoid the homes. Twelve people were left from those due to the upper elements, and local authorities organized temporary shelters for evacuated citizens. Rescue services are working around the clock to help the victims and eliminate the aftermath of the typhoon. In some areas, the water levels rose to critical level, which were seen in the situation. Rescue continued to work with residents from the most affected areas. The typhoon has disrupted transportation, with many roads impossible and flight cancelled in several airports, causing delays and inconvenience to passengers. Railroad services have also been affected by washed out tracks, and floods have devastated many farmlands, risking concern about future harvest. Authorities have already begun assessing the damage and developing recovery plans. Local meteorologists have warned of further rainfall and stronger winds. Residents are advised not to leave their homes in this necessary and to follow government extensions. Additional evacuation and safety assistance have been organized in areas and famous east of flooding. There have been a huge casualties reported so far, but the exact number of casualties is being clarified. Many buildings have been severely damaged or destroyed, and landslides caused by heavy rainfall have been reported in some areas. Authorities are working to resolve water and electricity supply that were disrupted by the disaster. Local residents are reporting the worst destruction they have seen in decades. The Chinese government has mobilized additional forces to help the affected areas.
troops have been sent to the disaster area to participate in rescue operations and emergency services continue to patrol in flooded areas, providing assistance to those in the distress. The international community has expressed condolences and offered its assistance in the recovery of the affected areas. Many areas did us and concerned about further deterioration or further conditions. The registration work has become a serious by the past so complicated by ongoing rains. It for it is said that they will do everything possible to restore the affected areas as soon as possible. At the moment, the situation remains tense and rescue operations are ongoing. Residents of the affected regions are hoping for an orderly improvement in weather conditions. The typhoon has already begun to weaken, but its consequences will be felt for a long time. Expos continue to monitor the development of weather situation. The government will present the operation and be prepared for possible new challenges of nature. A strong typhoon, accompanied by storm, and cast of wind reached speed of up 60 miles per hour in China and caused massive flooding in several major cities. Chinese authorities say that all possible measures are being taken to minimize the damage.